Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm sure you know what time it is. It's time to slay the spire. We're not starting with defect today because we didn't end with uh, silent last night because I decided to do one more run. And that was my undoing. Went pretty well. And then I uh, then I walked into Nemesis and got bodied. Bodied like a hottie. Feeling kind of naughty. Something something Scotty. Star Trek reference. The end. <laughs> did you like my song? I hope you did. I liked it. And really, that's the only thing that's important to me. So. Get, get wrecked. Get, 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 get wrecked. No, it's, it's cool. It's cool. We're all cool. Everyone's cool. But who's the most cool? Who's Maximum Coolio Extraordinaire? I don't know. That's all I got for you. It's a mystery. Can I, like, uh... Ooh. Oh. Then I have to skip the bonfire? Eh. Then it becomes, like, two elites, one bonfire? Yeah, that's not... That is not workable. So I think I'm taking the max health. Like, go here, bip, bop, boop. We're fighting slime boss. Farts. I can kill you. Take four damage. Alright. I accept these terms. Still have more help than I started the run with, thanks to the max HP, so. Cannot complain too hard. Farts. Six damage from double slimes is not that bad. It's probably somewhere around average. Alright, he's dead. And we got, like, the better combination. <sighs> Do I take a floor one backflip? I'm going to three hallway fights guaranteed and then a shop. I think we can swing it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a shop in, like, three floors. Let's, uh, let's take the money. Hmm. 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 Alright. We'll wait a turn. That's fine. Really, both of you again. That's, uh... Fantastic. I still full blocked it, but... And I haven't been made weak. Okay. So this is the big boy turn. Wow. It's fine. Once he's out of the way, I don't have very much to fear from this boyo in the back. Yeah, how do you like being made weak? It's not fun, is it? Oh. I was gonna say I had lethal, and then it's like I actually still have lethal. Dagger throw. Watch him grow. Ch -ch -ch Chia pets. Or those, like, uh. Those things you, like, put underwater and then they, like, expand into, like, dinosaurs or something. Or I guess there were, like, two different types. There were, like, the ones that you put into water and they became, like, this big. goop, whatever. And then there were the ones that were, like, eggs. And then, like, the egg dissolved and inside was, like, a tiny gelatinous dinosaur. That was the shit. You could probably still pick stuff up. Like that at uh, Toys R Us. I wouldn't know. I haven't been at a Toys R Us in a very long time. Once upon a midnight dreary, I worked at Toys R Us. It was... I. And then it progressively got less and less I as it went on. So I stopped. Poison stab, poison stab, poison stab, poison stab. Um, we could almost take a slice with the backflip in the deck, but not not when it's sitting next to Poison Stab. Act 1 Apotheosis again? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of rare cards. 77... I almost said 77 cents. 77 gold malaise. Whew, that's a hard malaise to pass up. It's not very good against the boss we're fighting. Or against Gremlin Knob? Or against Sentries. Hmm. Hmm. Do I just buy a Sneko Skull and then... Start ramping my offense. 
169 plus 75, 244. Hmm. Or I could buy the boot. Yeah, I think Snacko Skull is quite a bit better than Boot Town. Oh my god, my eyes. Oh, my balls, my skull balls. <laughs> my skull stickles. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Enough of those words coming out of my mouth. It's probably like card remove, something potion, something. I don't, I don't fucking know. What can we afford now? So I can get one of these three cards. It's like these two are better later. Predator is pretty good now. It's also not bad in the slime. Yeah. Let's not buy it. Buy? Not die to slime boss. Not buy to slime DOS. Oh shit. Oh fuck. It's slime DOS. He's come back from 1995. He's going to run basic word processors and capitalist pig at me. Except, like, slime versions? I guess if it's slime DOS. He's gonna barf up the Y2K bug. I could upgrade a card, or I could... I have a fairy in a bottle. And Predator upgrades a lot of damage. Poison Stab upgrades pretty good damage too. Oh, I have a backflip. I think the poison stabs the better damage upgrade. I'm like trying to math it out. It's like t two damage plus one damage per turn. So, like, it's three damage the turn I play, the turn after that, it's four. The turn after that, it's five. So, like, in three turns, it does the same amount of extra damage as the Predator upgrade, except it only costs half the energy. We're gonna upgrade the Poison Stab. And, uh, actually maybe get use out of Fairy in a Bottle. Oh, we're touching. That was a good touch. That was a great touch, even. A touch of fantastical sorts here. I'm gonna throw this. Because, I mean, I've got a poison card in the deck as well, so that'll uh, increase that damage. And that way, if we get a potion, I can potentially still keep a fairy in a bottle so I don't die to not napping. He's gonna take eight, he, yeah, he's guaranteed dead, so I should just play this. I was seeing if I could maybe draw neutralize. Ow, my body. Alright. Put him in the hole. Well, uh, the next fight can't be Gremlin Knob, but it might be Sentries. Dash is a lot better against Sentries than Bouncing Flask, but Bouncing Flask is quite a bit better against Lagavulin. Who am I more afraid of? I have 12 health. And I don't know what's in that box. I think I have to take the dash. Courier, alright. I'm gonna go for it. He's so tiny. I mean, we just picked up a preserved insect. Alright, I want to do this. He won't be weak for his attack, but, uh... I was gonna say, we might pick up Dash. Yeah. Okay. The plan is to use the Fairy in a Bottle on, like, this attack. Yeah. Do we snack -o pot here? That seems like a bad idea. 
So I've got two more turns to kill him. Neutralize. Not being the best. Alright, perfect. All out attack? Hmm, I've been adding a lot of attacks instead of things that aren't attacks. It is some AoE though. Alright, that's fine. I just need to not die here. Red sleeve. Uh, Why well, you gotta be that way? Oh shit. I wish I'd just drawn the dash and then I could dagger throw. Unfortunate. Alright, I'm about to be made vulnerable. I have an essence of steel. Okay, good. He's not attacking me. Perfect. Oh, baby. Alright, he just dies. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I think two poison stabs is probably too many. Okay. Take a nice nap here. Get a bunch of health back. That way, if this is an event that causes HP loss or it's uh, this fight. I dagger through there so I could see if I could hit neutralize. Because if I drew neutralize, I could kill one more dude. Oh, I didn't even think about the bronze scales. Alright, we're just gonna full block, wait till we're no longer weak, and then hit him. Did I really play a sense of seal for four block? I guess I did. Yeah. Alright, we didn't get any particularly powerful cards. We don't have any good potions. Ay, 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 ay. I'm gonna have to be digging a lot, I think. I think we're gonna upgrade all out attack and try to make that work. Because we're like overhealing with the re. Well, not literally, but we're definitely healing more health than I need with the Regal Pillow. I've got two defend pluses in the deck, so that should help a bit. I really wish I had the Bouncing Flask here. This is like 12 damage. It's much more damage than the dash. Alright, now we're at the mercy of RNG for what we're gonna draw here. I might be dead. High chance of drawing all out attack next turn? Alright. I guess I'm splitting him here then. I have seven health and a Sneckle Pot. Oh, fuck. Eight. Yeah, okay, alright. They split at 25. This is bad. Another 14. Oh, that splits both of them. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah, I like this hand. K. 
Okay, we're gonna be frail for the rest of the fight. Oh. Oh wait, I'm frail. What am I doing? I'm doing terrible things. I lose. I died. Slime boss. It's always slime boss. Got him down to the last gray, last two goops. It's always slime boss. It's never not slime boss. Alright, let's get to our start proper here. Mr. McDefect. What do you say about the allegations? Beep. Interesting. I could get punched in the face for uh, fossilized helix again. That would be pretty good. It's like it's like now actually just like going up and just like like smacking us with her tongue or like how is this happening? She's like barfing out a card. I guess the cards are not diegetic to like the actual journey up the spire. We're not like literally collecting cards and being like, wow. The same way you're not like that's not really how it works in Magic: The Gathering, sort of thing. Oh, we could get the box. Let's probably either get the box or take a punch. That is not a box path. Nope, nope, nope. All right, well, we're not getting the box. We've established that much. Oh. Oh. I either have to fight three elites, or one elite, or no elites. That is not ideal. Oh no, I can fight two elites, but then I don't get another fire. Do we take the punch? It's a risky punch. Or do I do the swift swap? No, I'm taking the punch. Ow, oh, my bones. Mmm. Good relic once you hit Act 2. Or if you're fighting Slime. Oh, hey, we're fighting Slime Boss. Alright. Um. We'll see if I survive that long. Not hold my breath for it. I got two chances for this Lightning Orb to hit that guy. Oh, uh, but if it doesn't hit him, I become weak. All right. Haha! -ha! Can't become frail. I have a turnip. This gives me power over slimes. For reasons I don't understand. That's a pretty good potion. Frost orbs are just pretty handy. It's pretty handy. Just gonna like sock this back now. Considering I'm taking seven damage as is. Ouch, my whole body. My robo bones. How dare you? Hey, I can full block this. Neat. Which of these three cards do I want to play? Hmm, gotta kill you now, don't I? He's down on 3 HP. Gain 12 back? Yeah, I've got two different orb types already. I'll grab a compile driver. Why don't we just, like, ransack this dude? Like, just, like, punch him out. Scoop up his carpet. That would be cool if you could do that, like, in, um, uh... Resident Evil 4. <laughs> like, you shoot the merchant and he just, like, never shows up again. You could just, like, clock the shopkeep, take everything he has in stock, but he just doesn't show up for the rest of the run. That would be kind of interesting. Or maybe you have to fight him first. Oh. 
<sighs> that would probably make Act 4 easier. I guess it would depend on how difficult he was. Maybe he maybe he gets more, like, he, his deck gets better as he goes up the spire with you. So it's like he's actually a harder and harder fight the higher up you go. There are not a lot of great options. I can't buy Entropic Brew and Card Remove, but I can buy Block Potion and Card Remove. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Give us a bit more virtual HP. Bit of a buffer. <laughs> Which is good enough for, for me. Yeah, let's put some at seven. Should be fine. Kablam. Ooh. Two cold snaps? I feel like I need something that's uh, got a little more oomph behind it. Mm. Maybe I should have taken the two and have one more attack in the deck. Cool. Just hope it's not Gremlin Knob. Easy peasy. I think that's how I want to do it. I was thinking about the block pot, but I'm like, I don't really need to use it this turn. And besides, I had two energy to spend and only one thing to spend the other energy on, so it's like, what am I really what am I really getting out of this? The answer, not a ton. Now I might have to use it this turn, because Lord knows what we're drawing. Yup. Yeah, can't do enough damage to kill him by one, and also a very low chance that both the bolts hit him anyway. Um, okay, so I get a bonfire, and then elite, then bonfire, then elite. Okay. This is acceptable. Mmm. Please, 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 Jesus, let the lightning hit that front man. Alright, well, might have lost the run. Might have lost the run to RN Jesus. If I don't block, I die. Alright, well, I guess that's what I'm doing then. I was just gonna see if I could try to make sure he died next turn. Farticus. Alright. I'm still alive. Now I have to go back to trying to kill this guy. Hey, got him. And you'll be dead before the next time you can hit me. Five health. Easy. We're just gonna we're just gonna get the pillow from this fight too. Hmm. It's like anti pillow. The un pillow. We're fighting slime boss, so. Also, these idiots. <laughs> Bye. Oh, no. That's a lot of damage. I'm alive. Still alive. One health? All I need, baby. <laughs> the last trembling digit. Yeah, I'll take an equilibrium. I'll also take a nap. 22 HP, oh baby. Rolling in the big money. Anchor is a card. And by a card, I guess I mean a relic. I guess I could go this way, and then just like, decide to definitely not fuck with this man. That might be the plan. Oh, 
He's gonna take six and six plus six. It's gonna take eighteen. Knocks him down to what? Twenty nine. He splits at thirty five. Although if he takes six here, he goes down to forty one. Oh, he actually just splits. If I play this strike. What if I just don't play the strike? Don't play the dual cast. Wait for the cold snap. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Now we got a real split. 13. Sweeping beams coming up. I'll probably still be weakened. Cool. There we go. Cool headed seems good. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go uh, super elite. So it's either gonna be Gremlin Knob or Lagavulin. Can this deck beat max health Lagavulin? No. If it had like one more lightning orb, then maybe. Oh, hello. Greetings! I am Emperor Peebles, Lord of all creation. Bow before my mighty knees. Oh, fuck me. Well, didn't find a sweeping beam. Sweeping beam. Hey. Might be a little late. I might be a little fucked. I mean, I'm not dead. That's only 26 damage. I'm not dead, but I am weak. Farts. I was hoping. Why? Why would I hope for that? Why wouldn't I just punch him? It's like a 1 in 5 chance. Punching seems so much better in hindsight. Alright. Got him. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, cool. We full block that. I only lost like 20 HP. It's no biggie. Almost full blocking, that's fine. Down to one lonely little gray pile of poob. Get out of here. Yeah, I don't think we're fighting the super elite. That's, that's not great. That's not great at all. Is this a static discharge upgrade? I th mm, No. This is a sweeping beam upgrade. Farts all the way to the bank. Have both of my No, this wasn't a hallway fight. All right, fine. I will accept this baloney even though I need not do so. Let all know of my magnanimity in baloney acceptance. Alright, so we should be able to kill him next turn while he's going to buff town. Yeah. In fact, we can kill both. Buff town or no. Suddenly wish I'd upgraded that static discharge. I don't think I can split him before he activates the stomp. So I'm going to nap. After that, we should be fine. 
I don't know why I did that. I couldn't have played a genetic algorithm had I drawn it there. Okay, cool. How much health did I have? I had like 21 or something. Yeah, we're just in full block mode here. It's going all right. I'm very sleepy. But other than that, can't complain too much. How much damage can I do here? I can do 8 plus 9, which is 17, plus 6, which is 23, plus 9, which is 32. That knocks him down to 81, right? 10. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we draw out of this first. Cool. How about you, Fulwar? How is it going? So he's guaranteed to split this turn. Who... I should probably still dual cast. I want to save the explosive pot to try to get a... Split here if I can. Hmm. Having the one lightning orb makes the electrodynamics a little bit worse. Got a day of work ahead of you. Can't become frail, bitch. <laughs> the turn of finally, finally uh, paid off. He splits at what, 21? He's guaranteed to split from the lightning. If I hit him, that is. And you're a long ways away from that, so... Oh, yeah, it's actually going to rotate. So, wait, 8 plus 4, 12. Yeah, that, that doesn't split him no matter what. So, I think I full block. Perfect. The thing is, is it's not very good in Act 1. Uh, I had to take 18 damage to get this out of Nyo. Because there are very, very few enemies in Act 1 that make you frail. After Act 1, it's great. Lots of enemies in Act 2 that make you frail. There aren't that many in Act 3. I'm trying to think of any off the top of my head. Does Reptomancer make you frail or just weak? I think she makes you frail. Or maybe she makes you weak and vulnerable. She does like two debuffs. Yeah, frail is uh, pretty obnoxious. I seem to recall there was a time where frail didn't exist. I seem to recall... I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure, once upon a time, yeah, there was like weak and vulnerable, but frail didn't exist. That was like a, a long time ago. Um, I am being assaulted. That's a lot of slimes. Why do I have eight cards in my hand? What has happened? Equilibrium, that's why. That's a lot of slime. That's a lot of nuts! Cool. I take no damage. Goodbye. No, 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 don't eat me. Goodbye. Can't become frail, frail. Skip your fucking turn. Uh, so you're going to split. Let's see. Well, playing the strike prevents 8 damage, playing the defend prevents 5, so yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Ow, my bone body. Eh. Well, whatever, I'm not frail, so what do I care? I can do whatever I want. And you, Slime Wimos, have to just deal with it. Oh. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, pretty sure I needed the nap there. Or I at least cut it pretty close. Frail is you lose 25% of your block. Or your block cards block for 25% less. And weaken is your attacks do 25% less. 
da less damage. The reason why Frail is so bad is because the da uh, the block it removes rounds up. So 20%, 25% of um, 5 is 1.25, but it rounds that up to 2, which actually works out to 40%. So, like, on the low block cards, like the defense that start in your deck, it's really rough going from 5 block to 3. Oh, the gray one frails, the green one weakens. Hmm... Fission? I already have Electrodynamics. All for one doesn't do anything. You're very welcome. Let's take the fission. I have two frost orbs and an equilibrium. Who needs block cards? And I can't become frail? Yeah, throwing away the defense seems like kind of a bad idea. I think I just try to make Philosopher's Stone Wick. I got, I've got Anchor to prevent a decent amount of damage on turn one. All right, I've got Electrodynamics, but no focus and no way to really generate Lightning Orbs outside of like Static Discharge. So not actually that good against anything. If I get the Static Charge upgrade, I become better against Book of Stabbing. If I find some focus, I become quite a bit better against the other two fights. So, I'm not... I just need to see, like, literally, like, two cards. But I need to see those two particular cards. Well, I guess I don't need to see a card for Book of Stabbing. I just need to get an upgrade on Static Discharge. Uh, yeah, there's no way to go where I don't have to fight an Elite, so... Got a decent amount of money. 60. Yeah, I should have around 300 gold by the time I get there. 350 is a bit better because then I can... I don't think a rare relic can be more than 350. I think that's where it tops out. 300 lets me get any uncommon or common relic though. They're, they're around like 150, 250, 350. If I recall. Man. I'm just like spacing. I am spacing out at this point. Alright. I'm fighting Bronze Automaton. Bronze Automatopoeia. Like, what am I even digging for at this point? Static Discharge. Yeah, let's do this. Get a bit of damage out of my orb first. Vision's also much better upgraded. Oof. These are like the three best cards in the deck, and... On the bottom, I guess... I guess these two are pretty good, but, I mean, Sweeping Beam does not do a whole lot in this fight. Yeah, that's the big oof. Cool. I'm about to be vulnerable. Gross. My deck is full of dazes. Double gross. Oh, I could have done that a little bit differently with the cool headed, I think. I think maybe I have to toss this. Oh, right. I forgot about the static discharge. I'm an idiot. I definitely did not have to toss that. Alright, good fight. Just lost like 30 health. Yup. Oh. 
this is over. Oh wait, no, I got electrodynamics. This might not be over. 16. God, I wish I had a data disc. I can do 19 damage to all of them, and then take 24. Wait! Shit, I had an explosive potion. No! 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 Farts. Lord Almighty, it's like my body's just, like, ready to collapse. Yeah! Hey, I win. I only lost like six health, that's not the, the worst. Didn't even use a potion. This deck doesn't really want loop, it doesn't want scrape. It wants nothing. Nothing you have to offer. Okie dokie. It wants that one. I'll take that one. Hmm. Uh, this costs 21 HP to do. So I think I'm gonna have to refrain from reading the book. That sucks. The book is really good. I think that's what I want. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I can totally get around this elite. Might do that. 43 HP, 2 potions. Bad deck. Then again, I have to go through a hallway fight. Which is not much easier than an elite fight in Act 2. And an elite fight gives me so much more juice. I've got an anchor. And a turnip? There's only one elite in this act that can even make you frail. And that's one of the gremlins that gremlin leader summons. Alright, we've upgraded all our defense and strikes, so that makes the deck quite a bit better. There we go. I get more damage and more block out of that. At least for this turn. Boy oh boy, you guys sure are hitting me really hard. In the... Body zone. What can I do? I can do this. And then I can do this. Fuck. Weakness! Right in the bone zone. Um, I have to use the fire pot. Otherwise, I just lose. Cool. Alright, well, uh, we're not dead, but mm -hmm, we're pretty close. What do I have? I've got a fission, a sweeping beam, a compile driver, two cool headed. Yeah, I can probably fit a steam barrier in there. Should probably grab the relic. Oh, baby. Oh, I was like super excited because he can't frail me. And then I'm like, oh, right. He triple attacks and he's got an extra strength because of uh, the relic I picked. You know, you win some, you lose some. That's just the name of the game. Oh, right. I start with 10, uh, 10 block. Thanks, Anchor. Thanker. Hmm. Sitting me for 27. Fuck. Oh, wait, that full blocks it? Yeah, that absolutely full blocks it. And then he's going to spend his turn trying to make me frail, but he can't. Perfect. So this is the time to go ham. We've entered the ham zone. Yeah. 
Yeah, I really need these orbs to be a lot stronger than they are. Oh, he does still weaken. Farticus. He also does still have 42 health. Uh, am I dead? I'm dead. Welcome to Act 2. May I take your order? Ooh. Was that suffering? Indeed. Here's a whole fucking bucket. And it's just like the bucket just like never... It's never empty. You just pour it over their face and their eyes and their... All their other head holes. And that's how the suffering gets in. I don't know if you knew that, but if you've ever suffered, it's because, uh... Someone snuck into your bedroom at night and pulled, poured the, <laughs> the suffering bucket over your head. We can remove a card. We could remove the whale. <laughs> she just disappears. We'll just edit her out of all future plays. Edit. I'm gonna go back, edit all the YouTube videos. Just, just cut her. Just cut her out. No whale. Man, I might, I might actually stop the stream at 3 tonight, which is technically the scheduled end time, but, oh, my body, my body and my bones are just, like, in the no-fun zone. I should, like, look at the other half of the map. Like, this half actually looks really good. It's got two elites, three bonfires, a shop, a bunch of events. All things a growing body needs. Yep. That's the good way. Alright, fine. Remove a strike. Hope to get it replaced immediately. Hopefully I'm fighting, like, double louse. As the first fight. Shit. I think that's the one that, uh... Is the least bad. From having one strike removed. This one's potentially probably the worst. It's like this one and the bird, because they both can get really out of hand really quickly. I didn't have lethal there, did I? It's not impossible. Well, I definitely have lethal here. Sure, I'll take a headbutt. Shazam! Ooh, got the bash. Very nice. What have you... Championship belt is, like, legitimately a really good relic. You suddenly don't need to care about trying to fit weak into your deck at all anywhere on the Ironclad, and you're just like, yeah, I'll just, like, put Thunderclaps. Or, like, if you've got Uppercut, you get, like, Uppercut Plus. It gives them two vulnerable and three weak. Because Ironclad's pretty good, you know, if you get offered the right cards. It's just, like, putting, like, nine vulnerable on someone over the course of, like, three turns. You're just like, cool, you're vulnerable the whole fight. Not nearly as good as doing that with weak. I think he's got three cards that apply weak. And one of them is Intimidate. Which is not a very good card. Because that's all it does. The other two cards also, like, hit the dude. So it's not something you can do super often. Huh. Champion belt lets you keep the weakness. Roland. Do I want to remove another strike? All I've done is add a headbutt. All I've done... Oh. These are not, like, crazy great attacks to replace. Could just buy a fire pot. Yeah, let's just buy a fire pot. Let's buy two fire pots. Would fire breathing be good if it by default costs zero? And, like, the upgrade made it innate or, like, made it do more damage? Maybe. This, this is the one card that they said that they've, like... Uh, are really considering reworking once they get all the ports and stuff out just because it's it is very bad it's might be the worst the the other powers are like other cards that are bad are, are considered like bad can at least have like certain niche applicability like fire breathing doesn't do anything 
special or interesting. It just does really, really piss poor AoE damage. That's just all it does. It's like Berserk, it gives you more energy, but it makes you vulnerable, so you can try to like use Orange Pelts to play around that sort of thing. You know, Grand Finale, you can make a deck to make it work. Even like Riddle with Holes or Eviscerate, in exactly the right circumstance, are actually pretty decent cards. Fire Breathing is just like... It's real bad. I don't know, maybe there's some uh, colorless cards that are worse, but... Oh, good. Remember when this happened? Remember when this happened last time? I'm really glad I didn't remove a strike at the shop. Oh, boy. Should have headbutted first. Neat. Actually, I don't think anyone was here for that run. I think it was too early on and nobody would shown up yet. But, uh... Yeah, it was a rough time. Lost the run to Bonfire Spirits. Because I had to remove a card. 1 HP, unbelievable. Unacceptable. Get out of here. Fuck. Really needed another attack. That's not Clash. Yeah, and there's Intimidate, which... Hey there, Jinnerdling. No Clash. No Clash. Upgrade Headbutt. I do have two Fire Potions to get me through this. Yeah, I am absolutely bigoted against Clash. I don't deny it at all. Clash can suck my Peanard. Alright. Ouch, my bones. God damn it, I'm trying to do math. I can't do math with these fish noises in my brain. Pretty sure I can just like hit him twice and then like fire. Oh wait, can I hit him more than shit? Yeah, I should probably throw this. Frozen egg? That's, uh... I only lost... Did I lose HP there? I think I lost two. Um, I think I'll still nap. I don't have very good upgrades anyway. What is in the box? Tiny chest. <laughs> you open the treasure chest. Inside is another, slightly smaller treasure chest. And then mysteriously, inside that treasure chest is a larger treasure chest. No one knows how that one works. Don't ask me. I'm not a, I'm not a treasure scientist. We need to beat Hexaghost. Um, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, at the start of the run, probably. It's also 30 gold. It's 30 gold and... Mm, I mean, I guess it depends on how many events we see, but, like... Like, going through a whole three acts, I think you're pretty likely to see one, at least one treasure chest from Tiny Chest. And maybe more. Do I want to bash? Probably. Yeah, probably. Put Bash on top, so I got something to spend my energy on. Man, I am running out of sip. Maybe I should have struck there. Hmm. Hmm. Thoughts to ponder. That is all of my defense. Sure, I'll put one defend on top. Yeah. I wish I had, like, a combust or something. Some kind of power that gives me damage every turn somehow. Not today, though.
Might legit have to use this fire potion on Hexaghost. Ho ho! All the block in the world! All the block a man could ever want. 19. There's no way I'll ever take more damage than that. No siree Bob. I'm gonna headbutt the strike plus because I know I'm not being attacked next turn. Or I could have headbutted, because that guy had 9 health exactly, right? I could have headbutted this one, played the strike plus this turn. It would have been slightly more damage efficient, but it also, I am about to reshuffle. It also would mean that I'd have 3 more dazes in the deck than I do right now. My metallicized plus worked out pretty well. Die. Oh shit, he didn't die. Fuck. Oh, it's my whole game plan. My whole game plan was just to just say the word and hope it happened. I probably don't have to play both the defense here. I'm just kill him next turn, easy peasy. No cheesy. Got him. What? I take dual wield and dual wield headbutt and just like keep putting headbutts on top of the library? Hmm. That doesn't seem like a great strat. I should probably put an attack in the deck, though. This is gonna be tough. Hey! Have I really not done three hallway fights yet? Guess not. Alright, well, he's gonna have a bad time. I got a lot of upgraded attacks in this deck. Can't quite kill him. Alright. We'll just full block it and then kill him next turn. He's gonna still be vulnerable, so that should be no problem. Skadoosh. Alright. Uh, Rampage might be able to do it. Feel no pain plus. It doesn't do like anything in the deck yet. Should probably pick it up though, and then remove a strike and just try to win the fight off of Rampage and Headbutt. Oh, whoops. Well, whatever. I'll buy a power potion then. To nap or not to nap? That is the eternal question. How good is the Rampage upgrade? I have a Metallicized Plus. Uh, it's not very good past this fight, though, is the issue. Gives you three more damage every time you play it. Whereas, like, regular... Most attack upgrades for, like, a one energy attack are just a straight three damage buff. So really, it's not until the third time I play the card that I've broken even. Because the first time, I'm three damage short of what an attack card upgrade would get me. Um, like, I'm one behind. The second time I play it, I'm still one behind. Because now I've... The second time has the same amount of extra damage as the second time playing, uh, like, any other attack. Like, plus three damage, plus three damage. And then the third time I get plus three damage twice, which, yeah, that really is not a great upgrade. I remember when Rampage, it used to uh, only go up by four every time, and then the upgrade was still up to eight. And then they buffed it. This deck is not very good at blocking. It has four defends. Metallicize plus. It's like the most damage it could block in a turn is 23? If I played 3 defense, had Metallicize and Ascender's Bane in hand after playing a Feel No Pain.
I'm honestly thinking about upgrading a defend here, because I'm also thinking about this power potion and whether or not I'm going to need it for the fight. God damn it. Alright, well. This lets us draw a rampage more often. Um, outside of that, not a great pickup. Not a great power potion. Demon form would have been the really good one, but eh. Did not get the metallicize in time. A lot of good cards in my hand. I have an energy pot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need to kill this guy and get that rampage going as quickly as possible. Cause I've only got 17 health, which means like if he gets to his other turn, he's gonna absolutely dunk my buns. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. The buns are getting dunked. Like, going right through the hoop. Evolve, putting in some work there. Bash. Shit. 23 damage already, though. Mmm, burn goes off before metallicize. I knew it went off before frost orbs. We're gonna be cutting it close here, huh? Six. E plus four is twelve plus six. Shit. I have to play the defend, otherwise I die. I also have to play a defend here or else I die. Oh, we're close. Told you I might have to use the fire potion for this fight. Turns out I had to use all the potions. Or I guess I didn't have to use the power potion, but I couldn't have known. And that was going to be the most powerful potion. I mean, Barricade Plus can eventually do neat things with Feel No Pain. But then we have no offense without picking up a Juggernaut as well. So I'd have to find Corruption and Juggernaut. Whereas Demon Form is like an all-in-one offensive package. But it's harder to get into play, and it's very slow. Barricade also makes Entrench real good. Real, real good. I already have a Metallicize. I'm going to take the Barricade. Welp! Ectoplasm, Golden Idol, Synergy, am I right? White Beast Statue into Toy Ornithopter? Living the dream? Pardon me. I've literally, I'm pretty sure I've literally never ever picked White Beast Statue. But I'm looking at the other options.
what if... Hmm. The other thing I have to consider is the fact that Sozu exists, and that I might see Sozu as our Act 2 boss relic. Man, Lizard Tail is just like... It does not... It does not make any fight better. <laughs> it does not make you better at fighting anything. It technically makes you better at, like, dying. Because I guess you kind of have to die twice. Oh, just like Sekiro. Oh, shit. Shadows die twice. Oh, my body. My brain. My mind. Man, it's got, like, blood and goop oozing out of it. I don't want it. Then again, this thing is literally goop. This is the only thing that isn't goop. But it's poop? Hmm. Well, I'm definitely not skipping. Like, it's... Lizard Tail has no downside. White Beast... Uh, I guess I either just, like, only get the value out of White Beast Statue for, you know, like, 15 floors or... Yeah. 16 floors? Or I just, like, don't even encounter Sozu. I'm aware I have a potion belt. That's the only reason I'm even considering White Beast Statue. Doing it. Now I need to find that Ornithopter. Oh, fuck. Well, the other thing with Demon Form is it also is just, like, a one, one card win against the champ kind of deal. It's just like, you just play demon form, and then wait, and then beat him. Whereas now I have to do a whole bunch of work to make a deck that can beat the champ. Alright, I'm gonna go refill my water. I will be right back. I'm so tired, I'm like strongly considering shutting this whole thing down early. And or just playing something less less brain intensive. We'll see. Oh. You mean you mean the the doctor juice? I had some earlier. I just sat down. I'm not I'm not going up to get the Dr. Pepper. I will do whatever I want with my potions. You're not the king of Potion Town, so get off your high horse and get back to work. Wacha, wacha. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? We got some dudes, some fires, uh, a fire dude, and some spires. Some fires, some spires, some greasy, greasy tires. Alright, whatever. Enough rhyming bull honky. Let's, uh,. Die. Don't have a turnip. Who got rid of my turnip? Fuck. Uh, 
We'll just take 16 damage off the top. Easy peasy beautiful. Let's cover drill. I guess we'll just keep rampaging. The horse was given to me directly by the king of Potion Town to ensure that everyone is keeping the economy going by swigging potions. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I mean, it wasn't the king's horse anyway. He had he had some he hired some bandits to steal the horse, so it wasn't his horse to give. Which means it's not your horse to have and to hold forever till death do you part. I now pronounce you man and horse. <laughs> you may now kiss the mare. <laughs> yeah, you already did fish noise. Why are you, why wouldn't you do fucking horse noises? There you go. Jesus Christ. You did. You botched it. <laughs> you absolutely blew it. This is why you don't get a horse. This is 156% why you don't get a horse. Just, just a horseless man. Get out of here. Get out of here, avocado. Avocados don't get horses either. I forbid it. Oh, fuck me. Birds don't get horses either. Get out of here. You bird turd. Oh! I anticipate. I anticipate a quick demise. I mean, huh, when you pick B White Beast Statue and you don't even have any potion synergies up in the top row, you know, you know you're in for some rough stuff. Um, I can knock down exactly one birdie boy. And I shall do exactly that. I'm aware of my potions, Jannerling. Trust me. I'm very aware. I'm so aware. I don't even need to look at him. I have a weak potion and a fire potion and no other potion. I'm the winner. Get on my level. Or don't. In fact, you can't, even if you tried. It was a joke. It was a prank. You fell for it. Holy shit, full wire. Coming in with the hot tips. The hottest tips. I'm burning up inside. I'm about I'm about to combust on stream. Just wait for it. 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 My plan, my game plan there was to just uh, hope you forgot about what I was talking about. And I'm just going to assume it worked instead of uh, asking anybody anything. <laughs> Nintendo Power's pro tip section. Yeah, I'm aware of the damage I took. The potion would have made me take like six less damage. You achieved something? Congratulations. What does it feel like? I want I want to know intimately. Mm, I don't think so. I think this weak potion is a lot better than preventing six damage. I think I think we can expect greater things from a weak potion. <sighs> Fuck. It's like I need flame barrier to not die, but I need spot weakness to beat the big boy. Hmm. Does it feel anything? Oh, we're trading faces. I'm in a bad zone. Holy fuck. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I took ectoplasm and then got fucking serpent head? And I would've just, I would've just slapped the face off this stupid idiot. Just like, tsh, tsh, tsh. wait a minute. Oh yeah, we lose. I first, I didn't realize I had to go through two, whoops, whoops, whoops. Absolutely gonna die with potions left on Swig. I mean, like, what? Like, fucking duh. Who Swig's potions? Not this idiot. You don't even Swig all these potions. Some of them you throw. Don't drink a fire potion, you'll die. 
You'll die of fire. Sure, we can eat the potions. We can even eat the potions. Eating and eating. God damn it. I'm not even going to a fucking event this whole act. The serpent head is dog shit. Literally not one. <laughs> Last one was there. I should have gone this way. Should I have? Probably. Who knows. I'm considering using, like, literally all three potions this turn. To just, like, blast this man to death and then weaken this boy and then, uh, lose. And then, uh, lose? What's the game plan? I have 15 health. I, like, have to do something. Shibuya. Still taking two extra damage. Oh, I still lose. You know what that means? Turns out when you do the math, I'm a corpse. Good blurb. I'm just gonna pass out right here. Don't mind me. See, me and Ironclad, Ironclad knows what's up. He's like, fuck, man, he rounds a corner and there's just like this fucking avocado alien monster and some like infected rat fungus and just like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna nap it right here. You know, he, he does the old Sigmire and Sigmire doesn't know what to do. Crosses his arms and has himself a mighty fucking nap. He has a think and then in the middle of thinking he dozes his ass right off. And then someone else comes up and solves the problem. Anyway, yeah, a lot of good those potions did. <laughs> that all the worst things were at the bottom of the spire. Oh. Uh, and look at his, like, weird, stupid, like, bone teeth. I mean, uh, you know what I mean. Where it's like his lips are his teeth. His lips are bone face. Alright. I'm pretty sure I'm too tired to have any sort of success in Slay the Spire. 